Peace, love, and light to the family. Peace, love, and light to the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all roll. You already know it's the Galactic One, Illinura L. We back cracking spells. Shout out to all the Galactic Guardians, 720 degrees. Shout out to everybody in the Universal Right Order. Shout out to the House of Consciousness, House of Consciousness, Connecticut Chapter. This message is being brought to you by Core TV, Kingdom of Righteousness TV. The show is called Wake Up Sheep. Well, y'all already know how I do. Today's New Black Sunday School demonstration. We're going to jump right in. Right? Aliens in the Bible and mythological creatures in the Bible. Aliens in the Bible and mythological creatures in the Bible. Now I do this new Black Sunday school to walk Christian-minded people through this uh, path through a uh, linguistic sense on new Black Sunday school so we could tap into the spells, right? So, which is a spell in the words. Because remember, this Bible is a translation. So it's been taken away from a version of something and put into another format. So it's in the English grammar type of sense. So we have to do the etymological one and go back with these words. You know what, what we're talking about, right? So aliens in the Bible. Most Christians don't believe in aliens. Most Christians don't believe in mythological creatures. But if you subscribe to the Bible, you must believe in aliens You must believe in aliens and you must believe in mythological creatures. That's a fact. If you subscribe to the Bible and you believe that that is the word of God, then you must, you must believe in aliens and you must, and you must believe in mythological creatures. Now let's walk through this. Uh, like I said, most Christian minded people won't believe in aliens right now. CNN and all of that, uh, they've been unleashing mad uh, information on uh, UFOs and uh, these different objects flying in the skies. And uh, they actually been talking about, you know, more alien talk, basically, you know, about uh, extraterrestrial life and all of this stuff and all of that. This is being unleashed from the past 10 years now. If you go through the histories of it, especially just recently this year, a couple months ago, they just unleashed this. Me and my man FG, shout out to FG. He was building with me and he was putting me on like, yo, did you see the joint where they were just, you know, unleashing like 10 different um, sightings? You know what I'm saying? Recently, you know what I mean? In China, Russia, this was all over the world. This was just recently. There's no coincidence why they built the Space Force, right? If you got aliens and sightings of crafts and all of this stuff and these people building the Space Force, obviously they want to uh, police the space. Right? What we know is space anyway. So. To get into this alien talk, right? You already have CNN saying it, right? Openly admitting it. This ain't no conspiracy theory stuff. This CNN and them regular shit putting it out there. And even if they trying to misinformation people by giving them false shit about fake aliens or whatever, even if it's some fake shit like that, it's out there is what I'm basically saying. It's a talk about it. It's out there, right? We don't know if it's real or not, but we, we, we see it every day. Boom, I just caught an object on my phone last week. You know what I'm saying? A crap, a spinning wheel. A spinning wheel with lights was what I caught on camera. And in the Bible, it actually states Ezekiel saw a spinning wheel with lights. So I'm just throwing it out there to show y'all that, you know, what I captured on tape is something that Ezekiel was kind of describing. You know, people say metaphorically it meant this and that and the third or whatever. But from plain value on a literal sense, spinning wheel, when you think about that in the skies with lights and all that, you think about a spaceship. You think about an alien craft, right? Two people in the Bible were basically alive and got brought up to the heavens two people in your bible were alive and got brought up to the heavens enoch and elijah these niggas didn't die you feel me these niggas was alive and they got ascended up somewhere to the heavens they call it heavens and your bible is orinus oranus so if you look that up that's a star system that's actual real place it's not like a fake place just up there when you say heaven you say up there where in orinus oranus orion's belt right Greek word is Uranus, but we're talking about Orion. That's the star constellation, what they call heaven in your Bible. So that's a real place. It really exists. Jesus said he comes from heaven. In the Bible, Jesus says he comes from heaven. I'm doing my little demo, bro, but you can get in. Jesus says he comes from heaven in the Bible. 
So obviously that means Jesus is alien to earth. Basically, if he's saying he's not from, he's from the heavens, he was up on the throne sitting next to God in the heavens, and heaven is a place in your Bible, when you break down the word heaven, it's Oranos, which means Orion, so that is a real star constellation, that's a real place, it really exists in the stars, like, it's not like no made up shit, so Jesus comes from a specific place, they also state in the Bible that only people that come from heaven can go back to heaven. So that means these people, are they stating shit like that? This was in John. But if they stating shit like that in the Bible, that means it's a specific place that they said you got to come from there in order to go back there. So that means there's other places people could come from. And they telling you that they can only come from heaven because we come from heaven and we're going to go back to heaven and all. <laughs> well, they saying that only people from heaven can go back to heaven. <laughs> Which is Oranos, the Orion, which is that star system. So I just wanted to make that point clear. Moving forward, you got to believe in mythological creatures if you believe in the Bible because there's things like a tanin, a walking well. A walking well. Wells had hip bones prior to our existence and all of this stuff like that in ancient times and all these different times. They said wells got hip bones right now in their body. So why the fuck they got hip bones if they wasn't walking? So obviously, at one point in time, even in the Bible, they, they mentioned that these were Tainines, walking serpents, dragons, all this other stuff. You got a walking serpent in there, which is a mythological creature. You also have a Rahimi. A Rahimi is a unicorn. So if you believe in the Bible, you got to believe in unicorns. If you follow the Bible as the word of God and they got the word Rahimi in there and that's a fucking mythological creature as a unicorn, then that means as a Christian, you have to believe in unicorns. It's just that simple. So you can't take away from an ad to the talk or the facts that if, uh, if sunlight itself is alien to the planet Earth. I think we got a misconception of what alien is. You know what I'm saying? Because we are fucking aliens. There's a point in time your ass wasn't here and motherfuckers beamed down somehow. You feel me? So you was alien to this shit as well. You know what I'm saying? So we can't get misconstrued on the fact that sometimes in the Bible, a lot of Christians want to knock other. Um, they're not open minded enough to believe in other things, you know what I'm saying? They boxed in and they subscribe to what the word of God says, but in your word of God, it actually mentions that these beings come from the heavens. It don't say that they from earth. So point made, Jesus is a fucking alien. 